When it comes to exploring the Faroe Islands, you can either rent a car or utilize their public transportation system. The bus system, a more sustainable and much cheaper way to get around the islands, is well planned out and easy to navigate. Adults can book a four-day pass for 500 Danish kroner, $74.50, or a seven-day pass for 700 Danish kroner, $104, which includes ferry rides. Kids travel even cheaper. The buses are efficient and visit the smaller villages like Kirkuber and Tjornuvik. Find more about the buses and ferries at the official site. Although buses in the city capital of Torshavn are free, spend some time walking to places like Tygains, a famous old area with cobblestone streets and centuries-old turf houses that are begging for a photo shoot. This historic point is where one of the world's first parliaments met, and today it still houses government buildings. If you're looking for more freedom during your trip, a car may be the way to go. But keep in mind, it takes a confident and experienced driver to traverse the narrow one-way roads and dimly lit subterranean tunnels that connect the Faroe Islands. However, they do drive on the right side of the road. When renting a car, go with companies like 62 degrees north, but be sure to rent a GPS as most cars don't come with one. There are many tunnels in the Faroe Islands. So it's a good idea to buy the unlimited tunnel pass for 300 Danish kroner, $42. There are also very few speed limit signs but remember it's 80 km per hour, about 50 miles per hour, on the main roads and 50 km per hour, about 30 miles per hour, in populated areas unless otherwise noted. Find more important information about driving safety in the Faroe Islands at the tourism site. There are numerous parking restrictions, especially in the Torshavn. There is signage displaying how many hours you can park in a spot before you need to move your car. Set the clock on the bottom right corner of your windshield to the time you parked your car, otherwise you may get a 200 Danish kroner, $30, fine. There are no parking restrictions on Sundays. For a special treat, take one of the world's cheapest helicopter rides subsidized by the government. Usually reserved for locals, lucky tourists can snag a seat for as little as 125 Danish kroner, $19, one way. Just be sure to book a week in advance.